Qué bonito venir, ¿no? Qué bonito venir. Estoy contento por la matina. Est-ce qu'on vient pour adorer le Seigneur? On dit bon Dieu merci. C'est à cause de la croix que fait nous capable la matin. Hein? Sous quoi ça consiste? Ça a été coulé pour qui capable en santé, en vie, pour capable adorer le Seigneur une fois même pour lui matin. Hein? Il est merveilleux, digne d'être adoré. Et à notre Dieu, tout soit la gloire. Amen. Par son sang, par son sang, nous entrons en sa présence. Par son sang, Jésus-Christ, frère à la haute, nous entrons en sa présence par son sang. Est-ce que vous le dites encore par son sang? Par son sang, par son sang, nous entrons en sa présence. Par son sang, Jésus-Christ prie à la haute. Jésus-Christ, frère à la haute, nous entrons en sa présence. Elle se dit encore, par son sang. Par son sang, par son sang, nous entrons en sa présence. Par son Jésus-Christ, Jésus, frère à la haute. Non, c'est 
Est-ce que encore oh, 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 en entrée, en entrée, na présence li, na c'est des oh, oh, en entrée, grâce à ça. Est-ce que encore? Oh oui, en entrée, en entrée, na présence li, na Say this one more time. Take me in, take me in to the holy of the whole. Take me in, take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me in, take me in. I'd like to say this one more time. Ma pantry, ma pantry, na présence li, na se desseo. Ma pantry, grâce à sang, agnoa. Invité avec notre frère Sénoa, qui a passé devant afin qu'il a levé, levé le service dans la main du Seigneur. Merveilleux Jésus. Amen. Coupons nos fonds rapidement pour la prière. Alléluia. Bien-aimé Père Céleste, Yahweh est manifesté en Jésus-Christ. Nous te remercions infiniment de ce que grâce nous permet que nous sommes capables de présence ce matin. Père Céleste, c'est seulement grâce à vous qui avez fait ça. Nous n'avons pas de capacité pour ça. 
Depuis naissance, nous, nous étions perdus, nous étions éloignés. Mais on est venu, cher Seigneur, par le moyen de ton sang, ô oh Dieu, où tu racheté nous. Où bon nous accès à ta parole. Où bon nous accès au salut. Où révéler nous qui est souillé. Et nous pour permettre que nous sommes capables d'avancer pour nous adorer. Où. Tout cela grâce au sacrifice du sang. Nous disons merci infiniment, matin, Seigneur Dieu. Vous faites un sacrifice pour nous. Et ça exige nous-mêmes que nous faisons un sacrifice pour vous. Vous avez une vie pour nous. Ça exige nous-mêmes. Nous avons une vie pour nous. Pour vous. Père Céleste, notre Dieu, aidez-nous pour nous marcher dans le chemin étroit là. Aidez-nous pour nous éloigner nous de chemin large là. Parce que le chemin étroit là, c'est lui qui débouche à la vie. C'est lui qui débouche à l'enlèvement. Maintenant, nous réunis, Seigneur, pour nous célébrer. Oh, oh en commémoration avec résurrection. Puisqu'on est mort, il faut que nous ressuscité. Donc, il faut que nous devions aujourd'hui. Il faut que nous devions adoration ce matin. Père d'amour, nous réclamer ta présence, Seigneur. Oh, nous avons une grande responsabilité pour nous matin. Passer le conducteur de chant de côté. Passer le prédicateur de côté. Passer tout le monde de côté. Ou même rentrer, Seigneur. Et remplir toute fonction. Ça y est. Nous voulons nous chanter matin, Seigneur. Nous voulons nous prêcher matin, Seigneur. Chaque chant qui doit chanter. Parole qui doit prononcer. Nous voulons nous directement. Et pour ça, nous croyons que nous sommes sortis joyeux. Nous croyons que nous sommes sortis sans aucun problème. Parce que nous avons quitté tout problème, yo, derrière nous, pour nous avancer victorieusement dans la gloire. Seigneur, merci. Merci infiniment pour ta grâce. Que ton Seigneur soit béni. Oh, c'est dans le précieux nom de Jésus-Christ, nous prions, qui vit des règles au siècle des siècles. Amen. Un bel bonjour, un bel plat, même matin. Pour toute ça, le fait pour nous. Libérité jusqu'à ça. Chita, nous avons un programme qui est si chargé matin. Et nous aimons ouais, les bien-aimés, les ouvrir les chanter la grandeur de Dieu. Et en même temps, nous avons un temps qui est limité. Et nous allons essayer de voir comment nous pouvons appeler tous ces groupes. Nous avons environ 8 à 9 spéciaux. Nous avons environ 8 à 9 personnes qui ont chanté matin. Nous avons déjà connu tout le pape possible. Mais selon le nombre de temps, chaque groupe hein, a accessé à accommoder mes yeux que nous sommes capables de Et pour nous commencer, nous allons faire place avec notre soeur Chloe. La soeur Chloe. Is she ready? Amen. Amen. Merveilleux Jésus. Maybe she is not. Ok. Let's call soeur Evans. La soeur Evans. Let's have her come up. Amen. Let's just come up. Let's clap our hands. Merveilleux Jésus. Amen, amen. Merveilleux. Yeah. 
Comme même qui a dit, pas doué matin. Comme même qui a dit, pas doué. Son bel bar, elle a été gon chai sous tête tout. Ou te gon dette qui loutre. Ou pas à gauche, pas à droite. Et puis, comme on qui signe un chèque bas. Ou bien, les dix mouns, ça te doule, elle va doule encore. Hey, that's really good. Uh, on continue un spécial matin. Hein? Uh, Brother Joasse. Yeah, I believe he has a special. Amen. Let's have him come up. Amen. Jésus à la croix, perdu et guillonné. Alléluia. Vous voulez chanter, vous m'avez bon Dieu gloire. Satan prend un propre l'air, il t'est en nom. Il pensait, il t'est qu'à finir avec. Jésus Christ à Golgotha, il t'est écrasé tête Satan. Depuis les salles, il prend un propre l'air. Satan prend. Non, Pourquoi ça matin? 
Nous pour aller là, caille un bon matin. Les la vie moi va changer. La vie fait qu'on n'est pas dans tout cap mouille. Je préfère dire les la vie va changer. Elle a un bon bagage. Lorsqu'on est qui a souffert avec espoir, c'est ça fait la différence. Le monde a souffert, il n'y a pas en haut, il n'y a pas en bas. Mais nous-mêmes, nous connaissons le bon sauveur. Est-ce que c'est ça, matin? I was talking to a brethren this week and uh, he was telling me about his problems. The only thing I can refer him back to is the Bible. I reminded him of the little Joseph. His own family kicked him out. Want to kill him. Bon, vle du matin, ça bon Dieu, papa, personne ne va pas voir. Quand tu chantes qui dit si, en haut, papa, en bas, papa, prend. Joseph became a slave, a prisoner. Même le fait qu'on est matin dans l'histoire de Paul, on a né trop petit pour qu'on ait changé l'histoire. Yeah. Joseph was a prisoner. Donc, prisonnier à le premier ministre du pays. Yeah. Daniel. Daniel, he did pray. The answer, he didn't get it yet. But Daniel was praying. He prayed. prayer. He knew one day he's going to find a solution. And when God came, he said, Daniel, he didn't pray. He didn't pray. But his demon, who was blocked by the prayer in the wood, alors nous voulons dire tout matin là, tout démon dans le bois, démon racial qui qui est bébé qui sont matin dans le nom de Jésus qu'on délivre. C'était même barré pour les trois jeunes du bois. Il était qu'on est au bas de la gonne fournaise, mais après les pour qu'on parle. And when they throw him in the fire pit, when they look down, you know the story. I'm just cutting it short. Qu'on quatrième homme. And I just want to remind you real quick. And the problem that you're going through, there's a fourth man. No problem, we're going to be a fourth man. So the difference with the Christians, the Christians, and those who are in the living room, day by day, we have hope in the day. We don't have hope in the day. Amen? I just cut everything short. I didn't want to go into details. I know the time is very limited. Um, let's call our sir uh, Jeff Louis. Jeff Lois. Let's call Jeff. Amen. As she's coming up, let's clap our hands. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, I'm trying to go rapidly through the list here because uh, I'm sure they to be able to prepare you. I don't want to derange anyone. Amen. Merveilleux, le Seigneur. Jésus, pas t'élever. 
Mesdames, yo dal visite li. Sans yo mande, mesdames, ça nous plaît. Yo dis se Jésus de Nazareth, yo besoin. C'est li vivant. C'est li vivant. Yo dis se Jésus de Nazareth, yo besoin. Jésus vivant. Jésus le bé vivant dans la mort. Maintenant, je vais chanter rapidement pour chanter L'aime son Jésus Calvéa. Qui est content, Amen. Merveilleux Jésus. Yeah. 
ce que Dieu fait. Amen, amen. Nous sommes en train de faire deux autres personnes et nous allons appeler notre pasteur. Parce qu'il faut nous faire place à la parole. Mais est-ce que vous êtes content pour la matin? Est-ce que vous voulez dire merci pour la croix? À Golgotha, Jésus te réglé le cause. Amen. Uh, rapidement, let's call uh, uh, the Eagles Temple Choir. Let's have him come up. Amen, amen. And uh, merveilleux Jésus. Merveilleux.
Amen. Amen. Glory. Let's call ETYC. Amen. Let's have him come up. And all these groups, they have been uh, rehearsing, so we would we did not, not want to call them. So, And uh, I have asked for permission to call two more groups, so he granted it to us. Amen. Glory. Merci pour la croix, Seigneur. Merci pour les prix payés. Tu as porté mon péché dans ton amour. Ta grâce m'a purifié. Merci pour ton Dieu.
Nous ne pouvons pas trop de temps. Parce que nous avons nous pile là. Nous avons les frères. Puis nous avons devant nous avons les dix mes offrandes. Nous avons chanté un chant ou deux pour nous garder place à pasteur. Nous avons déjà temps. Amen. Merveilleux Jésus. Nous avons vu la mettre debout pour espérer pour la prière. Cher Seigneur Dieu, dans, dans la terre. Au jour du dimanche, cher Seigneur, nous ne sommes pas de dans la tombe, Seigneur. Et maintenant, Père, nous venons pour nous capables d'honorer au Père Saint, pour nous capables d'adorer ou remercier ou, au Dieu dans toute ta grandeur, dans toute sa valeur, Seigneur. Car tu es réellement Dieu. Ensuite, nous avons nos révélations par au Seigneur, dans un monde ténébreuse, dans un monde plein de douleurs, Seigneur, plein de ténèbres. Père, nous disons merci. Et maintenant, mon mari vient chercher Seigneur pour recueillir les dîmes et les offrandes. Nous te prions, on va recevoir pour chacun de nous. Et si on va bénir chacun de tes enfants qui fait des places ce matin, il va contribuer dans l'œuvre, ça, cher Seigneur Dieu. Nous t'en supplions dans le nom tout puissant de notre divin Seigneur et Jésus-Christ, à lui seul soit la gloire au siècle des siècles. Amen. 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 Pendant la fête, passe pasteur, nous. C'est sérieux, c'est profond. Merveilleux Jésus. Oh oui, si si riche, si profond, insondable, c'est l'amour. Oh oui, l'amour.
C'est l'amour, c'est Oh oui, l'amour, l'amour Oh oui, pour moi Pour moi, pour moi Oh oui, oh oui, oh oui Et si Dieu sauvé Pour moi, pour moi Pour moi, pour moi Pour Oh oui, l'amour Si bon Dieu La ligue, rive, rive, rive la force, lion, en tous, ligue capa, ligue capacité, si bon Dieu pas, si bon Dieu pas, faillit, même dans la fournaise, même dans la fournaise, la ligue, rive, rive, rive la force, lion, I love what is said in that word. Come and see how the Lord is great. How, not only how the Lord was great, or the Lord will be great, but how the Lord is great even today. 
And Brother Benham said, there's a lot of people they're giving God glory for what he had done. They're praising God for what he will do. But they ignore what God is doing. That's why those people can never be saved. Because they, could, they cannot recognize their day and their message. They can't give a testimony of what God is doing in the present. As our precious brother Sino, I was preaching on Friday, a concerned witness, you're not only a witness of Christ, giving a testimony of what people had said about Christ, but you're giving a testimony of your own experience with Christ. Here's what Christ has done for me. I was in sin. Jesus delivered me. I was sick. And Jesus healed me. I was in darkness. He placed me in light. I was amongst the dead. And he placed me amongst the living. Hallelujah. I was in the chicken feed. And today, he placed me in the house of the Father. Amen. Amen. So you can speak about what he had done through Abraham, through Moses, and through Paul, and through Brother Branham. That's very good. But you need to speak of what God is doing today. That's what will make you a witness. Because in the legal realm, there is what they have secondhand witness. Like the person is repeating something that they heard somebody said or another person had done and they think that they are witness. That person, they can corroborate a story but you can't call them as a witness because they don't have a, a testimony. They didn't feel anything. If there was a fire, even if they could not see, they could maybe not hear because that person may be mute, uh, mute and deaf. But they could at least said, I felt the heat. I felt that the person had put the cigarette upon me. They can say something. But if they can't say anything, you can't call them as a witness. And so this morning, we are witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus operated movements in our lives. Amen. Amen. He has taken out from voodoo and he has placed us in Christianity. And he has taken us from denominational tradition and he has placed us in the message of the hour. We know what Jesus is doing and we see Jesus operating in our midst. This last weekend, if a person had eyes, you have to see Jesus in our midst. There was a precious brother that was African that preached a marvelous message. All the ministers, they preached some marvelous messages. And so that's how I was speaking to them during the week. And they said, you didn't know you, brother. But I see that you're a man of faith. A man of great faith. And that was his testimony. I see that you act as a son of God that is adopted. That stand his ground. Amen. He says, when Satan uh, comes to be able to ruin the rain, I see how you stood against the rain and we won the victory. I said, what you didn't know 
is that there is a church that believe in the word that is being preached unto them and they are already fasting since before that and if we all believed in the same manner let me tell you and Satan would even be slapped harder amen but nevertheless Satan lost the battle he could not impede that the convention is realized and so when the brother was telling me that how, that there was a spirit of loveliness and friendship of brotherhood of cordiality amongst all the beloved that were working in different sections to allow that this convention to be realized this rejoice my heart because I know it's another victory because sometimes Satan doesn't use the natural forces but he uses the discord and to put a conflict in the midst of the people and that's the greatest weapon that he has and they say oh I'm not doing it anymore the other one says I'm pulling myself out and when you hear and division is produced I think there was a brother that was telling me one time I don't know if Satan had told him that Satan one day woke up and he told his angels go work and in the afternoon and the angels came back and all the demons came back and the other one says I did a good job he said what did you do he said, I found a Christian group and that were going into the mission field and they were rejoicing and they were in a ship and I made a tempest rise and I made the ship sink and I killed them all. He said, that's what you did? And you call it a good job? And he asked another one, what did you do? He said, myself. I see a bunch of Christians that were worshiping. And I entered into some people. And I made them attack those Christians. And shoot weapons upon them. The same way they did it in Nigeria. And, and during the last Easter of last year. And they shot the Christians. And burned their houses. And mutilate them. He said, I killed many. And Satan said, that's what you did? And you call it a good, good job? And he asked another one, what did you do? And he said, myself. I found a group of Christians and that were worshiping in a church and they were giving God glory and I entered into their midst and I put a seed of discord and I put a division and the group became fragmented and they say they go on they're never going to step foot here and they say this one goes and sometimes we'll see them there's some of them that said they will stay but they won't participate in any activities anymore. And everyone gave a word. And they divided. And Satan said, you the one that did a good job. And the other ones were shocked. And they said, we kill people. And you say that we didn't do a good job. They say, you kill them. But they stay, remain Christians. Their soul just goes to glory. Their soul goes to find God. But those that you divided, they'll be ruined all the up until they become separated from God and they came unto our camp. Ah! The demons understood now that the greatest work is to take people out from the gospel, to take people out from the communion, to take people out from the word of God. It's the greatest work that Satan can do. And let me tell you that even if you would make a mistake, in your life you haven't lost the battle because if you confess and you take back your walk and there is an English proverb that says a winner never quit a winner never quits a quitter 
on moun ki abandonne pa jam ganye. And a quitter never wins. Uh -huh. Donc, sou se yon ki and pral ganye. So if you are one that is going to win. Ou pa gen doa kite. And you don't have a right to leave. Men sou se yon osi. But if you are one as well that it leaves. Ou pa ka ganye. And you cannot win. Parce que Because la, when you're on the course. When, when you're running on the track, it's those that persevere all the way up until the end, those that have the probability to win the prize. And so we're so happy this morning and that we're praising the Lord for what he had done for us, for what he will do for us, and for also what he is doing for us. Amen. Not for myself. Because I'm one member of the body. And if we don't believe, we won't be able to see the glory of God. But we see the glory of God because we all believe that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Many people believe that he's the same yesterday. They believe that he's the same eternally. But they don't believe that he's the same today. No, we need to believe that if he used to heal yesterday, he can heal today. If yesterday he heard the voice of his children and he spoke to nature today, he can do the same. Amen. Amen. It's this faith that we must have and it's with it that we're going to walk all the way up until we get to glory. And we know that we are already blessed by all the beautiful songs that we're singing. And I thank the whole church staff, not only song leaders, interpreters, and they did an excellent job. And we're speaking about all the members in general, and they did a superb job in the moment of the convention. And even those that we haven't seen them working, and that were only praying, they also they have rewards for them. Because sometimes Satan sends accidents. He may not send a natural force to impede you. He may not be able to send division to impede you. But he can send some accidents. While we're in the service here, and you see a person did just one accident. In a fire was unleashed where they were having the food. Or beloved have a big problem. Not everybody really becomes disconcerted and loses their sanity. And that's how we become not in the spirit and to be able to benefit from what is happening. And so God has a lot of work that he has done that we will never see. When we see something succeed, it's because the Holy Spirit is at work. Amen. And uh, we believe that uh, it's worth it uh, for us to continue to persevere together all day up until we leave this earth. We have a little meeting that we will have after service. What we call a debriefing meeting. And to know what was done well, what was not done well. And there is a lot of a little work to do. And so we'll have that after the service. And Friday night, we had communion that a precious sister was telling me, and Sister Elda, and when I was bringing her home, he said, you know, I took a great bit of surprise tonight, Pastor. I said, what is it? He said, she said, I didn't know there was, there was communion. My daughter that lives in Georgia had called me and said, oh, you would have communion tonight? I said, no, because I didn't hear that they announced that. And I don't believe that there will be communion. And as well, I got to the church when they give you the pulpit and you said communion. Tonight, communion. 
And she said, but I was shocked. But I give God glory. Because the pastor, when I was in Haiti, used to always tell us that. You have to be ready to meet God at any time. If I was not in condition of holiness, I may not even have taken communion. But as a Christian, I must live a word life, a life worthy of the gospel, whether I know it or not, if there's something important happening, and that's why I give God glory. Even though there was a surprise, but I participated in the Lord's Supper. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's the same thing for the rapture. And the rapture can come in the time that you don't think. And you must be ready at all moments. Because it's not enough to just come to service and then you have a religious attitude and you say, oh, I'm in the message. Oh, no, beloved. We have to take the thing seriously. And you have to be so serious with the Lord that you become Christ a little messiah that is ready to leave the earth at any time. Amen. Amen. And I really thank the Lord for each and every single one of us. Uh, on Friday there was uh, some work to be done in the yard and I was rushing and I forgot to announce that we were going to have communion. But I said, that's not serious. Because when Brother Jack called me, shortly after service to tell me that, and many beloved had already came outside, I said, tell them that on the, in the yard. And it looks like not everybody heard that. And they all were working that heard that. Maybe those that weren't work, not working, they maybe didn't hear that. But ever, anyhow, all things work together for the good of those that love God. And if we we would like to come. Dit, Jesus. Say, Here is Jesus. Amen. So we have to all be ready so that we will be changed in a token of an eye to go into the meeting with Jesus Christ in the air. The fact that a person did not know is not an excuse that is valid to say that you cannot take communion. As a true Christian, you must be ready to commune and do all that God has asked at any time of the day. As every year, there are two dates that we always take communion in them. And what are they? It's the Good Friday. And what other day? is the 31st of December. So the beloved know that. Whether we announce it or not, the members knows of the date. The other dates that we take communion, they may not know them. And before we have announced it. But any, as we say, what is essential is walking just saved. And walk already prepared to meet the Lord. And I know that there are some brethren that could not be here. We would like to remember them in prayer. Notably, our sister Albert. There was a beloved as well that I think they had a baby, baby to be presented. It looks like they did not come. So that's okay. We're, uh, we're going to now, <coughs> in this moment, ask if there was somebody here for the first time who hadn't yet introduced themselves and that would like to do so, they are free to stand and they could tell us their name for the glory of God. And we have also many requests before us here. There is a precious brother. You just tell us your name and who invited you, please. Uh-huh. Are we so happy to see our brother with us? May God bless you. Waiting for you many more times so that we can advance in the word of the Lord. I have another brother Libé here. Is the nephew of Brother Victor. Brother Libé, are you here? 
Frère Lubin, pas nous. Côté. Our brother Lubin. Ah, ok, ok. Oh, Jusque là, way in the back. que Dieu vous bénisse. May God bless you. Nous sommes avec, habiter avec notre vieux frère Martino. And he lives with brother Martino. Nous avons un autre bien-aimé frère. And we have another Moi, precious brother. Moi, non pas petit grâce à base, mais mon de cousin Jordani. My name is Gracia, ah, my cousin Jordani and everybody. I'm happy to see my brother, 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 brother Basile. May God bless you, precious. And we're waiting for you many more times to worship the Lord with our precious brother, Jordani and all the other saints. We have another precious brother. What's your name and who invited you? Good morning, church. I'm happy to be this, this here this morning with you. I come from Jacksonville. This morning, I'm invited by Giordani. So happy to be here. Sir Darlene. Oh, Sir Darlene. What is your name? Ah, I'm happy to see our brother with us. May God bless you. We're so happy that the Lord has allowed that all these beloved are here together with us. We have another beloved on this side. May God bless you. I'm, I'm not a new one, but I'm an old one. And we come from Georgia. And this is my child. Elda, that is with us, and my wife, Sister Julia. Oh, we're so happy to see these beloved that are with us. Yes, we are so happy to see them. And they look for the way of God. They come away from Georgia to come and worship the Lord. May God bless you and help you enter into the life. And we have a, a last uh, beloved. May God bless you, church. My brother is Wuna, and I'm happy to be here. I'm invited by Brother Evans. Brother Evans. Oh, Frère Evans. Amen. I'm very happy to see our brother with us. May God bless you. And we're so happy to see all the beloved here. Because, uh, whether you want it or not, uh, there's one true God. And if you are the child of the true God, and we are brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Even the Catholics, we call them brothers sometimes. And the Adventists, we call them brothers sometimes. And the people say, but the person, they want to persecute us. They want to kill us. Let me tell you, Cain was the brother of Abel. Even though he asked for death for him. But in a sense, they were brothers. So there is a sense that they can say they're not brothers. Because they are not of the same seed. But in a natural sense, they, we can say that they're brothers. And that's why we want to encourage all the people to be able to take this word seriously. So that one day, we all can go rejoice in glory. Uh, there is a bless request. you, Frère Bernard. Please pray for my mom. For our mom. Sir Franz. Sir Franz. Who is celebrating her birthday today. Qui a célébré anniversaire jeudi. Ah, may God shower her with abundant blessing. Que bon Dieu avale prisel de Health, happiness, love. Et Santé, bénédiction, Il semble que y a un pile de requêtes trop longues, ma seule mali non. Les requêtes sont très longues. Notre précieuse sœur, Franz. Franz. Sister Franz, on this side, may God bless you. Bonne fête dans le Seigneur. Happy birthday in the Lord. Est-ce que nous pas contents, sœur? Are we so happy to see our sister? C'est signé de la famille Enriquez. Signed by the Enriquez family. Réclamé bénédiction pour lui. And blessings for her. Et aussi requête de bénédiction. And also request for blessings. Les amis, Madame Moins, sœur Anol. I said my wife, sister Anol. Lui, lui, qui a fêté anniversaire le mardi. That was celebrating her birthday on Tuesday. That just passed by. Notre sœur Anol. And sister Anol. Sister Anol. And Sister Anol, she's in the back, she's taking care of the babies. No, she's maybe not there in the room. Amen. Jusqu'en on veut stipuler la que Dieu vous bénisse. May God bless you, Sister Anol. Happy birthday, my Lord. C'est signé de mon bien-aimé. It's signed by a beloved. Par quoi le mettez Noli? I don't believe they put their name. Madame moi. It's said my wife. Mais qui monte qui peut vous lier encore? But who should be anymore? Oh no, mettez non. Okay, okay. C'est notre Dieu frère Anol. It's brother Anol. Ah, okay, c'est très bien. That's very good. 
Bon Dieu béni un frère Bernard. God bless you brother Bernard. Ah, tant pis pour Jaden si foi. And play for Jaden si foi. Comme c'était anniversaire de Jaden. Celebrating his birthday today. Jaden, Jaden si foi. And Jaden si foi. Il semble que c'est petite notre précieux frère. It looks like it's the child of Jimmy si foi. Brother Jimmy si foi. Avec ce chien. Ah, juste là, c'est le bébé là. Que Dieu vous bénisse. God bless you. Happy birthday in the Lord. Le petit Jaden. The little Jaden. Amen. Amen. Priez pour. And pray also. My beautiful cousin and sister Fida was celebrating her birthday this week. Belle cousine, moi, Sir Fida, qui a pu célébrer le art de ses vins. Cousin, Sir Fida, Sir Fida, Sir Fida. Ah, de ce côté, bonne fête dans le Seigneur. May God bless you. Que Dieu vous bénisse richement. May God bless you richly. Eh, moi, je crois que il n'y a pas de bail non. I don't believe they gave their day. Ah, mais il y a un cousin. But there is a cousin. Ah, qui veut clamer prière. Ask for prayer. Notre petite sœur. And for our precious sister. Please pray for. My, my handsome second born son, Israel Bonami. Bo, deuxième petit garçon, Israel Bonami. Ah, okay, who's celebrating his fifth birthday? He has celebrated his fifth birthday. Israel Bonami. Israel Bonami. It looks like it's the uh, son uh, of sir, Sister Israel, Becky. Israel, and brother Israel, Israel, Israel raise your hand. No, it looks like it's. Oh, l'abdomi. Ok, 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 d'accord. La fête est anniversaire. Il est célébrant son birthday. Donc, anniversaire, il choisit de dormir. Donc, nous allons prier pour lui. 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 Donc, nous allons Ok, nous va songer notre prochain frère Imogen. We're gonna remember about the Imogen. Il a pour la matin. That is impeding for being here this morning. C'est vraiment dommage. It's really sad. Ah, parce que jour de Pâques. Because the day of Easter. C'est jour d'où qu'on t'écoute plus monde vient l'église. It's the day where they say most people go to church. Alors de pour la religion. And that's for denomination. Et ça fait forma nam du Christ. That's why brother Ben said. It's two days of the year. Pour la majorité monde vient l'église. That you see majority of people come to service. It's Easter. Et qui l'autre jour encore? And what day again? Avec Noël. And Christmas. <laughs> Et il dit qu'on sert de monde. And he says there are some people. Oh, ils viennent à l'église. When you see them come to church on Easter. Ou mettre tout dio. You could just tell them. Bye Noël. And happy uh, Merry Christmas. Parce qu'on va pas voir Jean Noël encore. Because you won't see them anymore. Jusqu'à peut-être l'année. All day up until maybe next year. Ah, et qu'on sert de monde. And there are some people if you see them. Ah, sous ta gueule service. If you would have service upon uh, Christmas Day. Parce qu'il doit assembler mes sages là. Because he said the message churches. Nous pas faire service spécial. We don't have a special service. Parce que c'est Noël. Because it's Easter. Uh, no, I mean Christmas. Uh, parce que Jésus pas né en fait. Noël. Because Jesus wasn't born upon the. Mais si fait Noël la tombe non. But jour, if the Christmas falls on a day. Que nous gagne service. That we have service. Yeah, nous gagne service là. Yeah, we have service in it. Et même genre nous pas gagne service spécial 28 février. The same way we don't have a special service on the 28th of February. Oh, but Jim fait service spécial. And Brother Branham never made a special service. Février 63. Uh, in the February of 63. 64. In 64. 65. Et ni après. And neither after. Il va Jim parler de ça. He never spoke about that. Uh, Comme on date. As a date that was special. So there's a date that we don't observe. But if, if it's a day of service, that the day falls on, and we profit to have the service. And we're going to pray for all these beloved. And certainly, we're going to all stand. If there's one with a special request, we'd like to also be remembered in prayer. Pendant que nous debout, as we are standing, nous on pourra courber tête nous. We're gonna bow our heads. Et nous va lever mes noms. We're gonna raise our hands. Pour faire qu'on ait to let that need be known to God. Amen. Oui, on le Seigneur. And let us pray. Dieu accorde à chaque monde qui veut venir. May God grant each person the desire of their heart that raise their hand, the desire of their heart. Oui, pour tous ceux qui pas qu'à là. And pray for all those that could not be here. Monsieur Albert en particulier. Sister Albert in particular. Et Sayo qui est bien loin. And those that are very far. Ou bien qui gagnent. Or they have difficulties, and they're listening through the internet. Let us pray. Eternal, our God, our Creator. Lord God and our Creator. We glorify you this morning. We glorify you this morning. Because you bring us to the source of life. To drink of the water of life. To bring us to the source of life. To drink of the water of life. To be able to drink of the water of life. To become participants of the eternal life. And become participants of the eternal life. You were sent on the earth because you had come. Upon the earth, as the great artesian well, but man rejected you. As Israel in the past had rejected 
the water of the natural well. Wow, une citerne crevassée. A drink from a broken cistern. Oh, de l'eau impure. Oh, from the impure water. Venant des citernes humaines. Coming from human cisterns. Oh, allow, Lord, que nous ne suivions pas that we do not follow les mauvais exemples d'Israël. The bad examples of Israel. Tu avais choisi you had chosen uh, le tribu, la tribu de Levi and the tribe of Levi pour servir de modèle to be able to serve as a model pour les autres tribus. for the other tribes. Et tu as choisi les douze tribus en général and he had chosen the twelve tribes in general to be able to serve Example for the entire world. But we see, Lord, that they have abandoned their positions and that you had rejected them. You have rejected not the people, but their attitude. But the people will be anyhow saved. You'll come back to the Jewish people to be able to save them. But you rejected, Lord, the nonchalant attitude that they have manifested towards you. Help us, Lord, we whom you have chosen in this age, in the Christian era, Uh, and we do not, Lord, despise the grace of God, <coughs> but to be able to give a care about you and to give the first place to the gospel of our time. It is written, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and all other things will be given to you afterwards. And we will seek this morning the kingdom of heaven, which is the Holy Spirit, and I pray for each person and that had made the move to come and seek you this morning. May that in your love, Lord, that you would allow us to be found and give us a sincere heart so that we don't pretend that we are already children of God but to recognize that by your grace you make of us what we are the attributes of God the seeds of God and predestinated and that in accepting the word of God it would become the children that are adopted by God the preeminence upon the rest of the service bless all those that we had mentioned And that are celebrating a new spring in their lives, those that do not feel well, especially Sister Albert, but you continue to increase her faith so that she can recuperate and that she would not be only in an intellectual faith, but she would have a revealed faith so that in her heart and she could believe that she is healed and to rise up and to be able to give glory to Jesus Christ and put the rest of the listeners visibly and invisibly into your hands. Bless our interpreter, our brother Eli, and that did an excellent job. And bless our song leader, and brother Eli Baltazar, that did also a superb job. And during the convention, and at every moment, and bless all the song leaders. And Brother Rigobert, and our Brother Lovens, and all the musicians, all the technicians, all the cooks, and all that were working in the parking, in the transportation, in all the realms, Lord, and that you would reward them for their talent, their time, and their treasure, and that they had placed at your disposition. And guard us for the rest of the service and attract us closer to you. Bless those that could not be with us as those that are present. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you speak unto us, Lord. Anoint our lips and our ears in the name of Jesus Christ, our God and our King, Him who lives and reigns from now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And we pray that you would read with us uh, the two texts. in two texts. Job 19, in Job 19, le 25, and verse 25. 
Job Psaume, Proverbe Job. Job, Psalm, Proverbs. Uh, 19. 19. Verset 25. And verse 25. Oh, he says, Mais je sais All right. que mon Rédempteur est vivant et il va lever en dernier sur la, au dernier jour sur la terre. And for I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Amen. Amen. Dans Jacques chapitre 5. Now in James chapter 5. Verset 11 et 12. Verse 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 vous entendez parler de la patience de Job. Et nous te voyons comment que le Seigneur, à la fin, qui ça lui t'a accordé lui? Parce que le Seigneur est plein de miséricorde et de compassion. Behold, we count them happy which endure. You have heard of the patience of Job. I'm sorry, I should have started in 10. I should have started in 10. Il dit, prenez mes frères pour modèle de souffrance et de patience. Prophète yo qui t'ai parlé au nom du Seigneur. Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Voici nous va dire bien heureux, ça yo qui a souffri avec patience. Nous te contentais parler de la patience de Job. Et nous te voyons comment le Seigneur, qui ça le Seigneur t'ai accordé, parce que le Seigneur plein miséricorde et compassion. Behold, we count them happy which endure. You have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord and the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Que le Seigneur ajoute sa bénédiction à la lecture de sa parole, l'édification commune de nos âmes. May the Lord add blessings to the readers word for the history of our souls. Thank you, may be seated. And our topic this morning is our Redeemer is living. My Redeemer liveth. Ça que Job That's what Job declared. Donc, moi, que and so I know that familier, many of us are familiar avec, uh, de la passion de Christ. with the history of the passion of Christ. Comment que Christ est venu dans le monde How when that Christ came into the world to be able to save humanity mais uh, le monde pas trop connaître but the world recognized him not le monde pas fait cas de lui the world didn't care for him il vient pour bailler la vie and he came to give life mais mon yo mandé but the people asked free barabbas free barabbas bon, crucifié jesus crucify jesus rather yo mandé la mort they asked for death pour si la ca bailler la vie for the one that was giving life et yo mandé la vie and they asked for life pour si la ca ôter la for vie. the one that was removing a life Uh, Barabbas and Barabbas de meurtre, was guilty of murder and he killed people Jesus resuscitated and Jesus resurrected three people during his life uh, non seulement resuscitated trois monde, literally, not only he resurrected three people literally mais la vie éternelle, but he gave eternal life uh, à, pile monde, and to many people qui devine, qui and then they came autres. to believe in his message Donc, de and la he vie. is a giver of life mais but nevertheless les uh, the man rejected him because their works were evil and they did not want light because they did not want the change but today he says to everyone who receives it and that believes in his word he gives them power to become children of God amen in John 1 and verse 12 and that's why God is asking in Acts 17 in verse 30 in verse 30 I said, God does not account for the times of ignorance. Announce unto all men and in all places 
that they need to repent. Amen. Amen. Donc, Dieu a aimé salut so God would love salvation pour for everyone. Mais il a aimé nous But he would like us to know that, that this salvation is only in Jesus Christ. Parce que tout leader Because que all other bien. leaders that we know that ha- are existing, religion, the founders of religions, they died. And they stayed in the tomb. Many times, we commemorate the death of Jesus. But there are many other leaders. They commemorate their deaths as well. They commemorate the death of Dessaline. He was the founder of the Haitian nation that was given independence. And he died, I think, the 17th of October. 18 what? Or something. In 1806. And that's at the Red Bridge. And some say 7th of October. 17th of October. It's a national holiday in Haiti. And they commemorate the death of Martin Luther King. And that was leading a movement of civil rights to defend the interests of the blacks. Abraham Lincoln because Abraham Lincoln had abolished slavery and they killed Abraham Lincoln because of this abolition and they take the blacks and they impose discrimination upon them and they weren't slaves anymore but they, they couldn't live in certain neighborhoods they couldn't be part of certain clubs and they couldn't sit in the front in the buses and they had so many restrictions that they had placed and as the black person became a second class citizen Martin Luther he was fighting against that, those things and finally they granted that unto him but they asked for another thing integration and to do mixed marriages and brother and said, what they were asking for he was agreeing with but he's not only agreeing with the mixed marriaging but anyhow there are so many people that hate Martin Luther and that they shot him and he died in martyrdom but what do they do now every year they celebrate his birthday and they make it a national holiday I think what date did they put it again the 15th the 15th of January the 15th of January. Oh, and here's the love that okay. know their story, their history. Uh, to give you the credit, uh-huh. raise your hand. If it's wrong as well, <laughs> then you'll confess it. And so anyhow, <laughs> it's not something that needs to be confessed. Uh-huh. So they celebrate it really because it was something that martyred them. But realize they're celebrating the death of the person. Not their birth. Because their birth didn't free anything is their death they brought a liberation they died in a work to be able to support a just cause but we find over here Friday we celebrated the death of Jesus as well because he died for a good cause but today we are celebrating something that we can't celebrate for any other person even for Moses we can't celebrate that Moses founded Judaism he died but he stayed in the tomb Mohammed he founded Islam and he died but Mohammed stayed in the tomb Confucius he died and he stayed in the tomb Buddha died he remained in the tomb but the Lord Jesus died and the third day the Lord God resurrected Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here is my Redeemer that liveth. Hallelujah. And that's why all the religion their founders die and they stay in the tomb but brother Aaron says the Christianity is the only religion and it has an empty tomb because Jesus had died on the Sunday morning of Easter the first day of the week the Lord Jesus had rose 
And not only he resurrected, when he found John in Revelation, he says, I was dead, but I'm living. And this time, I will not die anymore. I'm going to live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 17 to 18. He says, I am the one living. And he says, here I'm living forever and ever. And he says, not only I'm living, but I have the keys of death and the keys of hell. And Jesus has the keys of death and the keys of hell. But you said that he gave Peter the keys. No, he said he gave Peter the keys of the kingdom. The keys of the Holy Spirit. When the Jews were receiving the Holy Spirit on the first time, Peter had to be present. When the Samaritans were receiving the Holy Spirit upon the first time, in Acts chapter 8, and verse 14 to 16, and Peter had to be present. At the Pentecost, in Acts 2, and Peter was present. In Samaria, Acts 8, 14 to 16, Peter was present. When the Gentiles were receiving the Holy Spirit for the first time, in the house of Cornelius, in Acts 10, verse 48 to continue on, Peter had to be present. Because there were three categories of people upon the earth. Remember when Jesus sent the disciples to go and preach? And while he was still living, he says, do not go towards the Gentiles. And that's the first group of people. Do not go into the city of the Samaritans. And that's the second group of people. But go rather towards the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that was the inscription of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 10, verse 5. And Brother Branham says, and he says the Jews are the people that had to know the true God. And those pagans were the people serving those idols. But the Samaritans are the people that were two-sided. Half a God and a piece of paganism. And they have half of both. And so that's how when Jesus died, he had not yet died but he was still bound to Israel because he was uh, married to Israel and he could not take another woman. And he said, do not go to the Samaritans. Do not go towards the Gentiles. But go only rather towards the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But when he comes to die, the bond that he had with Israel as husband and wife, that conjugal tie was broken. And now he spoke to the disciples. He said, go all into all the world and preach the good news unto all of creation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In such a way today, whether you are white, whether you are yellow, whether you are black, whether you are red, the salvation has been offered unto you. There is one Savior and that had died and that resurrected and that wants to walk with you. He says, I will be with you all the days, all the day up until the end of the world. Hallelujah. Oh, it's not because of the my strength. Brother Bram says, when you have a brother and is strong that knows how to fight, he said, even if you are very small and you are walking with your brother, you feel that you big. Because if a person attack you, if another child attack you, they're going to fight with them. And the, this brother, and that is very muscular, he'll be there to defend you. Hallelujah. He said it's the same thing as well. Today, we have confidence that we are in security because the Lord Jesus Christ accompanies us. Hallelujah. May the name of God be praised. He says, I'm 
I'm living. Non seulement le vivant. And he says not only he's living, éveillé, but he's awakened. Et il est toujours présent. And he is always present. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your brother may not be there sometimes. Your brother sometimes may not be able to overcome the quantity of enemy that comes against you. But the Lord Jesus is the Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no enemy that could stand before him because he is omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent. Hallelujah. Our my Redeemer liveth. That's what Job had said. Amen. You know the story of Job? It was a man. They said it was the oldest book of the Bible. They said even it was written in the 4th century. Ah, no. Même 4 à 5. Or four or five thousand years. In the fourth or fifth millennium. Uh huh. Uh, avant Jésus, before Jesus, que livre ça a été écrit. That, that book was written. Et des uh, auteurs font spéculation. And ça. the authors have made that kind of speculation. Et il faut comprendre que. And let you look, understand uh, that. Le Job, if you read it, un homme qui était riche, a man that was rich, et qui était marié, and that was married. Et qui servi le Seigneur. And that was serving the Lord. And when jo God is speaking about him, and he said it was a man and that was upright. A man without reproach. A man that feared God and that avoided the evil. Dieu a parlé God bien de Job. Spoke well of Job. C'est un homme. It was a man. Qui était un prêtre. That was a priest. Parce que la Bible dit qu'on offrait sacrifice. Because the Bible said he used to offer sacrifice. Parfois pas seulement pour lui-même. Sometimes not only for himself. Mais pour petit Lio. But for his children. Il était gain dix petits. And he had ten children. Sept garçons. And seven boys. Et combien de filles? And how many girls? Trois filles. Three uh, girls. Mais on vient de me convaincre. Here's a beloved that know their Bible. Ah, peut-être c'est mathématique. Maybe connaît. there's math there, no. <laughs> Mais quand même, but anyhow, la Bible the Bible says physique. that he had ten children, Et parfois, and sometimes those children, fête, and they like to go party, and when Job was offering sacrifice, he offered sacrifice for them as well. He said, come on, let us pray. Who knows if you didn't sin against God? More than word, whether in action, because he saw his children and left to a feast. And it was a man that was rich. You know, in the Bible, there were many people that were rich and that had served God. But the majority of the people that served God are the people that were poor. You see that there is a weak minority and that will be rich, that will be in glory. As you find Abraham in Genesis 13 and verse 2, the Bible said he was very rich. And not only he was rich in cattle and animals, but he was rich also in gold and in silver. And the Bible talks about Isaac in Genesis 25. Abraham gave him all the goods that he had. And so Isaac became rich because he became an heir of what Abraham had. Uh, the Bible talks about Job that was rich. Uh, Even in the Old Testament, uh, the Bible talks about people that were rich. Uh, and Solomon was rich. David uh, and David was rich. Uh, but the Bible speaks about as well the men as... Uh, Zacchaeus, uh, that he was a rich man, uh, and he wanted to see Jesus, but he was very short, uh, and he had to rise on a sycamore tree uh, to go and see Jesus. And the Bible spoke uh, of that man that went to go ask for the body of Jesus uh, from Pilate. Uh, to go and bury the body. As all those people are fe fearful of being killed, when they, he saw that Jesus died, the Bible says he was a secret disciple of Jesus, and he comes to show his colors. 
identifier la Christ. He come to identify himself with Christ. Uh, Matthew 27. And Matthew 27. Verse 57. And verse 57. Uh, the, uh, rich, ça, and the Bible says that rich man. Uh, qui grand connexion, and had a lot of connections. Uh, à Pilate, he went to go speak to Pilate. Et Pilate uh, and Pilate, uh, Pilate says, mourir, let me go verify that he died. Et après, au fin dit, and after mourir, they finished verified that he died. Dit, okay, we'll and pouvoir. Pilate says, okay, you can take the body. Et nom, ça, and it's that man. Nicodem, helped by Nicodemus. Uh, Nicodem, Jesus Nicodemus that went towards Jesus during the night is them both that descended the body from the cross Et and that took him and went to bury him. Aussi and we know as well que, uh, en réalité, that in reality and there are many rich people uh, that they themselves bon they believed in God. Uh, déjà, and I spoke to you about um, uh, the uh, of Zacchaeus himself. Uh -huh, and Luke, uh, no, no. Luke, and Luke that was spoken about uh -huh. that he himself uh, he wanted to see Jesus and what did he do? and he rose upon a tree and the Lord Jesus spoke to him and he said, and he said, Zacchaeus, come down. It's today. Salvation must enter into your house. Amen. Amen. And we find over here, and that's in Luke 19, in verse 2. So it was a man that believed. And even though he was rich, and he didn't let the riches blind him to not serve the Lord. And there are people today, they are not even millionaires, and they say they cannot serve God. But you find the multi millionaires that know truly God and that take position for God. And there are people that have money as well and that don't want to see God. Que, and you find here uh, la nouvelle, je dire, là, that if you read in the news today uh, déclaré, je dire, that they had declared today uh -huh, gain, um, yon qui paraît, there's an article that appeared uh, qui dit que, uh, president actuel, and that the, act, the president actor and common president on social media, he says after announcing après you annonce, transgender day transgender, of visibility the visibility on Easter Sunday. So, you pack law. Aha. E yo, gen moun kap condamné président sa. There are people condemning that president. Uh, uh, slam on social media. So, the réseaux sociaux. Uh, after announcing transgender day. Après annoncer juste transgender. Uh, of visibility. The visibility. Et ça qui arrivait là, and what happened here, sur l'article, if, if you read the article, ça que le président, is that the president, dit jeudi, say that today, il déclare, il déclare that to, today, de, is the day homosexual. of homosexual, jour de LGBT, day of LGBT, et un pile chrétien, and many Christians, qui même libéral, and that are even liberal, uh -huh. ah bon, il y a un article là, and they have the article here, uh -huh. il dit que président, yo, yo frappe président social media, and they said they Après qu'elle finit annoncé que jour jou, dimanche Pâques-là, c'est jour de uh, visibilité pour transgender qu'elle y est. Biden slammed on social media after announcing Transgender Day of Visibility. And realize what he says here. Il dit, il était pris de faire une position envers LGBT et bagarre abortion et position comme malgré le son catholique de qui devrait Biden has previously come under the fire for his stance on the LGBTQ plus and abortion issues, give his, his own position as a devout Catholic. There is a section of the article that I would like to read. There's a section where the president is speaking. Today we send the message. He said, Jodi, a nouveau message to all transgender who Américain, que nous, yo remèon, yo tende ou, yo kompren nou, e ou gen plas ou. Ou se Amerik, e tout administrasyon an kampe de er ou. E li kontinye pou ldou. Metenan, par konsekan, mwen menm, Joseph R. Biden Jr., prezident des Etats-Unis de l'Amerik, pa vertu de autorite ki veste nan mwen, pa konstitisyon an, Et selon loi des États-Unis, moi déclaré ma 
31 mars 2024 comme jour de visibilité de transgender. Today we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved, you are heard, you are understood, you belong. You are America and my entire administration and I have your back. It is continued now. Therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, as Transgender Day of Visibility. Amen. Amen. Je dis à, so today, uh, -Unis, the United States accent, declare that the accent pas Jesus is not really on Jesus Christ. They take the accent et croyant, and many believers, they're agreeing with that. But, but let me say that God has 7,000 men that did not bow their knees in the time of Balaam. And today again, God has a bride that says today is the day day for us to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not celebrating another person. We're not celebrating another group, but we're celebrating the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are some people that resist the devil. They say, what you're doing is not good. Satan, you cannot come and take territory that God has given us. What we put a footprint, God gives it unto us as possession. Hallelujah. A year has 365 days. 365 days. We have one day of the year that we give importance to it. I don't even have a problem with the Christmas. The bro, it, it could even took Christmas for himself. And that, that wouldn't even force a, a denominational believer. But this wouldn't say anything for the bride. I wouldn't want him to take even the Christmas because of our denominational brothers that don't have the revelation. That sees the, uh, the birth of Nimrod. Uh, and they think that this is the birth of Jesus Christ. But then again, I wouldn't have too much problem with that. Uh. But you leave all the other days of the year, one day that we had, to be able to commemorate the resurrection of our Lord. And that's the one that you choose to now say that it's a transgender that you're going to commemorate. And to now church is putting like multicolored flags and rainbow and kind of stuff. And they say that's good. There's many in churches as well that already show that they're not in agreement. Even the nomination. There's some of them that don't agree. As is to tell you that, to, that you have to awaken to see what time you're living in. The Lord is at the door. Sodom has gotten into a phase that they want to take position of all institutions. And the sodomy is institutionalized. And it's the time and hour for the bride to leave the earth to be able to go into glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sodomy, man of man, woman with women, many people with beast, or woman with man, but by the means of anal, by the na not natural means, even if it's woman with man, and they could be both in sodomy, because there are some relations that God didn't ordain. Uh, in the mouth of people, that's not what made for certain relations. If there are some holes in the bodies, they are not made for certain uh, relations. And when a person, even if you're married, and you chose those contrarian ways, even the homosexuals will tell you that you're in sodomy as well. Because they know that. But today, instead of us glorifying the Lord for the victory that he had won for us, for the death that he had endured for us, today, the people <laughs> exalt what the Lord himself has condemned. What the Bible has condemned. That's what they want to exalt. And that's why in Canada, they said they have to change the Bible. And there's some biblical texts. They say you should not talk about it. If you read it, they say that you're going to prison. 
And the people say, what is it? We have the freedom of religion, they say. They say no. You don't have the freedom of speech like that. And they say that if a person does that, they were going to prison. And there's no one that can free them under the hand of the Trudeau president. But here in Leviticus 20, in verse 30, it says that if a man will go and sleep he said a man also a woman that well, no, 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 no. Leviticus 20 verse 13 Leviticus 20 verse 13 uh -huh, yeah, yeah that's what I just read if a man sleepeth with a, uh, a man as he do, as he's supposed to do with a woman then he is uh, worthy of condemnation uh -huh. and commit abomination uh -huh. and see and we find over here, and it's the same thing he says in verse 15. And if a man shall lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall, and you shall slay the beast. Uh -huh. And so there are so many things that the Lord has condemned that now they want to exalt. But I want to say today, this morning that we want to exalt the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to exalt him because the same way as Moses raised the serpent in the desert, the Son of Man has been lifted up so that any person that believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life. Amen. Amen. That's what we must honor. Worship the Lord because he is worthy of praise. But the other says no. Exalt rather another movement. LGBT LGBT plus RS plus we don't even know what the plus means anyway. Anything can go through now. Amen. Amen. So we find today that we need to know that sometimes that the bad things happen to good people. Because Job was serving God when suddenly Satan Satan, Satan comes before the presence of God. Satan goes into the seventh dimension. And God says, Satan, Satan, where you come from? Say, I've been running around the earth. I'm just going around and I'm going down and coming back up. Because you can go down in the earth as well and you can come back up and coming out from the pit. He said, do you not remark my servant Job? He said, yeah. I see you living. He said, yes. It's a servant. Integrity. A servant. Fidel. That's faithful. Qui, uh, le mal. That hates the evil. Et qui bon Dieu. And that fears God. He said what you say is true. Raison, but that's not without reason that Job is serving you. It's because you're blessing him. That's why he's serving you. You bless him in all kind of ways. It's normal for him to serve you. If you would remove now those blessings, I guarantee you, Job would stand you and curse you in your face. No! The Lord said, no, never. No matter what happens to Job, Job will always stay attached and faithful. He said, do you give me permission to be able to show you that Job won't stay faithful? He said, you can go. The only thing, don't touch his life. And realize here, Satan in this moment, he could even climb up into the seventh dimension. There's a moment that's coming when the millennium will be established that Satan lives in the fifth dimension but today he contacts even the souls that are in the sixth dimension you remember the witch of Endor contacted the spirit of Samuel that was in the seventh dimension or the sixth dimension under the altar of God and Saul had told her to invoke him 
Et il contacté. And she contacted him. Alors, Satan lui-même. So that means Satan himself. Non seulement qu'a contacté. Not only can contact. Uh, quatre premières dimensions. The yo. four first dimensions. Uh -huh, qui c'est la matière. Which is the matter. L'espace. The space. Le uh, temps. And the time. Et les ondes électromagnétiques. And the electromagnetic waves. Uh, Mais il est capable aussi. But he can also. Entrer en contact. Enter into contact. Avec la cinquième dimension. With the fifth dimension. Et c'est là l'habité. And that's where he lives. Uh, et il est capable aussi. And he can also. Communiquer. Communicate. Avec la sixième dimension. Uh, with the sixth dimension. He, that was in the past uh, could communicate with the sixth dimension but from the death of Jesus uh, and that was not possible anymore. But he can communicate uh, to even the seventh dimension. He may not go to in person now because of the death of Jesus uh, but he can communicate because the Bible says he is the accuser of our brethren. All day till now he is sending signs, signals uh, to be able to accuse the children of God. But there's a time that is coming when Christ is going to reign. In Revelation 20 and verse 1, that there's an angel that will come and that will seize Satan. Hallelujah. And bind up Satan. And throw him in the pit. And seal the pit. And incarcerate Satan for a period of a thousand years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is that? Brethren said it's a chain of circumstances. It's not a literal chain. It's not a metal chain. Or a chain in wood. A chain of circumstance. And I explained that. Because in that time, there's going to be a restriction. Satan will be only limited to the fifth dimension. He won't have the access to even the four dimensions under. He won't have access to the other top dimensions as either. either. He won't be able to contact God in that moment to be able to bring accusation. He will stay there in hell in the dimension that God has placed him all the way up until the thousand years have been fulfilled. But in the past time, in the time of Job, he contacted God and God gave him permission. And what did he do? He sent upon Job, firstly, the atrocities, of the human atrocities. And the Bible tells us that Job had many servants and many animals. And he said, there are some thieves that came and they attacked the servants that were watching the cattle. The and, cows and the donkeys. And, and, the donkeys. and they uh, killed those servants. And they took them. And those animals. And they went with them. And so there's another place Job that Job had and many camels. And there's another group of bandits. Another group of gangsters. And they came also with weapons. And they attacked those servants. And they were watching those camels. And those Chaldeans killed those servants. And they took the camels and went with them. And in each of those instances, there was one servant, a fugitive, that escapes and runs and gives the news to Job. He said, they killed all your servants and I'm the only one that survived. And he gave the news. In the same time, this human atrocities are being caused by Satan. You see, it's people acting, but it's people that are animated by demons because they're killing their fellow humans and they're taking what they have and they're doing the bandit acts and those gangsters they're under the influence of Satan but at the same time as well Satan sent natural disasters there's an, another there is another place that Job had at some animals there's a lightning that came and that struck and fire rose and the animals died and servants perished. And so now, one servant escaped and he ran and told Job that. And another moment, 
There was one of his, his children or children. And they were having a party. Uh, in the house of the first child. And that was the oldest. And suddenly. And there was a tornado. And that came. And the wind struck the house. And struck it. All the up until the house, the roof of the house fell. And all ten of the children of Job in there, they died. The only person that saved was a servant that was there. And that's how. He ran and said that to him. There's a brother that has a problem that I didn't know. We're going to pray for him. It looks like Brother Enoch, I think. Is Brother Enoch? Let us pray for him. But I see him living there on a, 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 a crutch. Yeah, crutches. And we, we see here that, that sometimes those problems come. It's Satan that sends them. And here's the brother upon the crutches. Not the brother. But here's this brother has such an accident. Or oh, problem. Well, this problem. Sometimes it's Satan that does that. Yes. Yes. Satan can have problems. And Satan could send problems. And he sends natural disasters. He sends human atrocities. Calamity. And calamities. When he sees Job, react positively. Job. And Job kneel down. Job prayed, and Job pray unto God. He said, Señor, he said Lord, I don't understand what is happening. The only thing I'm saying is that I came naked from my mother's womb. And without anything, I'll return back. <laughs> the Lord that you have given me and the Lord that you have taken away, may the name of God be praised. Job 1 verse 21. He says, in all of that, Job did not sin with his lips. Neither did he attribute any injustice to God. And that's where Job is a distinguished man. Because there are some people that are serving God. Sometimes, that person is discouraged. He said, Lord, I asked you for death. Lord, maybe you didn't do the thing right. Even Moses sometimes. Sometimes. He said, Lord, I can't advance anymore. But there are some servants. Uh, as Job. Oh, as Daniel. Oh, there are some servants. Uh, and that stand firm. No matter what happens, uh, they say, I'm going to advance in the service of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, they are not murmurs. Because they know God is in control of the things of the world. And they they know as well that God is doing that all things will work together for the good of those that love God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Joshua was one of them. Well, Moses is a leader. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wanted to be discouraged. When Moses died, and Joshua took control, Joshua, no matter what happened, he said, even if you, you leave the Lord, you can choose who you will, but I want you to know, myself and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to continue to advance. That's why when God is speaking, speaking about those three servants, and he puts their names together, and he says, those servants, Daniel, Daniel, when he's talking about Job, he said to some people, that if they would be there, he said they could have saved their souls. And he talks about Noah as well. Uh, Daniel, Noé, he said, Daniel, Noah, and Job. And Job. He, said, he said, they're a man. And they were intrepid. Uh, man. Courageous. They were courageous. Ezekiel 14. In Ezekiel 14. Uh, verse 14. And verse 14. He says, if the people deter themselves, they wouldn't be able to save the people. But at least they would save their own souls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Job. Job. 
C'est un homme exceptionnel. It was an exceptional man. On de tout ça Despite all that happened to him, he blessed the name of the Lord. Satan, Satan came towards God. Il dit, he said, do you not realize Job that Job is a faithful servant. He hates evil and that loves the good. Il dit oui. He said yes. C'est normal. He said it's normal. Il était fidèle. It's to him to stay faithful. Parce que because uh, pour retirer ça, you take vrai. what he has that's true. Mais ou toujours qu'il est la santé. But you still leave him with health. Tout touche santé. If he touches health, c'est santé la plus importante. It's the health that is most important for Moi, us. Certain, I'm sure and certain Job that Job will abandon you. Et la mordu en face. And he was going to curse you in face. Elle dit non. And the Lord said no. Jamais, never and never, never. Satan, où c'est mon temps? Satan, you are a liar. <laughs> And what you say here, I'm going to prove that you're a liar. I give you permission. Go and touch the health of Job. But don't touch his life. And you will see. And Satan went. Send the great ulcers upon Job. And now, a physical affliction, a sickness, all the skin of Job become peeling. And Job sit upon the ashes. And Job cursing the day that he was born. And he cursed the day that his mother conceived him in his womb. But he said, I'm in all things, I bless the name of the Lord. Job was not discouraged. He did not charge God with any crime. With any error. He said, the Lord, you know better than I do. I am a servant. And I'm going to live in a way that is integ- full of integrity and faithful. If you allow these things, it's because you know I'm the one that can endure them. Hallelujah. There's some trials. God doesn't let them come upon any kind of person. Job know that he confessed his sin. And you have to be sure, beloved, that you confess your sin. Because if your sin is not confessed, and when the trial comes, God won't even hear you. But if your sin is under the blood, there is no demon that can stand up against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job, he had the responsibility to be able to obey God, confide in himself in God. Yes, obeying and believe. That's all that we must do. Welcome. We bless the name. We come. And the evil come. And we're blessing the name of the Lord. Because you're going to walk with with God, God will take position for you. Amen. Amen. And that's how the Bible says that the wife of Job rose up even against Job. Satan inspired the wife. The same way as Jesus one time and he was speaking to Peter and he said, oh, he's going to die. They're going to reject him, etc. And suddenly Peter said, oh, no, Lord, you going to die. Oh, no, 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 you don't have a right to die. This won't happen in the And Pe- God told Peter, Jesus ah, told yeah, Peter. He said, get away from me, Satan. Amen. Amen. Your thoughts, uh, they are not the thoughts of God. But they are the thoughts of man. In Matthew 16, in verse 23. And there's a time as well. And Jesus was speaking to Peter. And he says, and John himself that is coming here. What will happen unto him? In John 21, in verse 22, and Jesus said, if I want to remain all the way up until I come back, what will that matter to you? You follow me. Amen. And Jesus exhorted them severely. He didn't talk calmly then. And many times, you say, if a person exhort me, or they have to do it sweetly. No, sometimes, and you'll find a person exhort you according to how the Bible acts, respectfully. In 1 Timothy 5, in verse 1 and 2, he said, when you're exhorting somebody older than you, speak to them as if you're speaking to a father. You spoke respect to, uh, unto them. If it's a brother that is younger, speak to them as a brother. If it's a sister that's old, talk to her as the mother. If it's a young sister, speak to her as a sister. But there are some people that sometimes don't know how to exhort and they will tell you big words. But even then again, it's God that allows that. Because 
God told Peter, Satan. It's not Peter that was the Satan. The, sp the spirit that was animating Peter. The spirit that was inspiring him to make him speak in that moment. Because he had yet to receive the Holy Spirit. The Satan could have used them. And God could have used them as well. Because he had finished this in a moment. That you are the Christ. The son of the living God. And Jesus told them. It's not the flesh and blood. That reveal these things unto you. But my Father which is in heaven, he is the one that revealed that unto you. But then again, we find here that they accepted correction. This was a big thing. Receiving correction. Brother Branham, that is prophet for the time, he corrected his mistake clearly. And he confessed clearly. And he said the Holy Spirit told him, make the people confess their sin so that they could be delivered. If they do not confess, they won't be delivered. And Brother Banham one time had made a mistake where that he was preaching. And he said there were 700 men that, had, that hadn't bowed their knees to Balaam. And when they showed them that, not only corrected it, but in another message again, he returned back onto it. He said, the last time I was preaching, and I had said it was 700, but they let me see that it was 7,000. That's what is a good correction. He said, here is the error I made. And he said, here is what is the correction. It's not only you say the thing, as what she is saying is correct, and what she's saying after is correct. So you have to say, what I said before, here's what it was, and it's now it's not correct, and here's what's correct, and that's where there's a correction. Brother was speaking about a lie that he made, and he told his wife, tell the attorney I'm not there, and he opened the door, and he went out, and the wife said, but you made me give a life for you. He said, no. He said, no. When you say that I was not there, was I there? He said, you were not there in the moment that I said that, in the second that I said that, but when the telephone call had come in, you were there. You just opened the door and you went out. And you say, say, I'm not there. It's almost as if you were there. He said, no, you didn't give a lie. Because the minute that you said that you're not there, I was not there really. I already put myself out. He said, yes. But for me, it doesn't seem right. If I'm going to say no, I don't think there's nothing wrong. But God was going to speak to Brother Branham afterwards. When he went to go pray for a child and that was sick, he said to the father, the child stand at a distance and he prayed for the child that was sick. And afterwards, he raised his hand to put upon him with his eyes still closed. And he felt a, a, a man hand pushing him back. And he opened his eyes and he saw the father waist over there. And here's the hand as a big hand. It couldn't be the hand of the child. And he continued to pray again. And he's going to lay his hand again with his eyes still closed. And when he comes and he felt the big hand and push his hand on the other side. He said, no, there's something there. He said, men, excuse me. Give me a minute. And he went outside. And he went to the corner of the house. And he said, Lord. He said, maybe there's a problem. And here's a child that is sick. And we come to pray for him. And we felt that his hand uh, pushing him. And he says, what is it? And he says, God told him. You haven't even confessed your sin. Are you going to take your lying hands and place upon my child? He said, confess my sin and lying hands. They said, what lie did I give? I said, yes, my wife told me I lied today. And I wasn't agreeing with her. And I have to go and confess that. He said, man, excuse me. I'm coming back. I'm going to go take care of something. And he went and he asked his wife for forgiveness. And he called the attorney. He said, wait a minute, I'm coming to you. And he ran into his office and he asked him for forgiveness. And he says, when he comes, he ran back and prayed for the child. And when he prayed for him and he laid hands on him, and there was no hand pushing him back now. And his hand touched his child, and God healed the child. Amen. But even then, he made a fasting on the next day. Thanks God for forgiveness. 
And when he was confessing that, uh, and he said, here's the mistake I made. But here's how that was taken care of. And he said the mistake is the same thing as well. When he's talking about the evidence of the Holy Ghost, he said, I used to preach and saying if a person has love, and they have the Holy Ghost. And he says, one day, the Holy Spirit corrected me in a message called broken cisterns. And he says, the Holy Spirit in a vision told me the proof that the person has the Holy Spirit he said is neither speaking in tongues or either having love the way that I used to say it he said the person can speak in tongues and he said he doesn't have the Holy Spirit and he said the Holy Spirit the evidence Uh, is rather um, is believing the word uh-huh. in, be- hmm. But, uh, no, paragraph 67. in paragraph 67 no, uh, uh, in the broken cisterns but one day the Lord in a vision straightened me out and he said that uh, The evidence of the Holy Spirit was those who could receive the word. Neither love, nor speaking in tongues, but receiving the word. Amen. When you receive the word, the miracles will follow you. Because there's people that have miracles, but they don't have the truth. You need the truth. Don't follow miracles. Follow the truth. But if you are following the truth, and you are really in the truth, miracles will follow you. Amen. You'll speak to nature, and the nature will obey. You'll speak to demons, and demons will bow their knees. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You'll resist the devil. And he will obey you because the Holy Spirit is with you. Hallelujah. You find over here that the prophet corrected the errors clearly. If I make a mistake behind the pulpit, the person can let me see that. And when I correct that, I have to say, here's what was said. And here's how it should be. And so people can understand. If a, br- a brother make a mistake or a sister make a mistake, a person uh, approaches you have to have humility to say oh I didn't see it I write many things and I give the beloved to revise me and when they make me see the mistake I say oh thank you very much and this morning even I have a letter that I've written and I gave a brother to read it uh, on Friday and the brother came <laughs> he said, here's the error I see in it. And I see all that is good. But I have two grammatical errors. I said, where are they? And he showed it to me. I said, Here, thank you, brother so-and-so. For this uh, error that you had helped me see. And I will correct them. And because ah, we need to have humility, we are not the only one that is important. I am not only the, the mess. I am not the only message church. No, no. We are not the only believers. And we are not the only members of the body. I cannot know everything. You cannot see everything. We are the members of one another. We complement one another. And I have to be ready to learn all the. Time. ready to take correction all the time whether in what I'm saying whether in the actions that I'm posing whether in what I'm writing I have to be humble enough to be able to know that I can make mistakes but when I see what is right so that I be ready to correct it and that's when God will be with you we should not be arrogant and to have an opinion that is so high of ourselves that people cannot speak unto us if it's like that you will never become an officer Ask the brothers that are officers there how they treat you when you're in the academy. How they scream in your head sometimes. And they give you orders and to teach you obedience. And they treat you very de- uh, roughly. If you go into the army, you will see really how they treat people in the academy. Yes. 
Because the gold, before you see that it becomes pure, they have to beat it, beat it, to be able to take off all the impurities. And many people can't grow, it's because they don't want correction. Or when I write something, I don't want people to see it. And they must give you constructive criticism. When I go to make a homework, I don't want people to see it. You will never be able to grow. Every person that grows, they have a trainer. They have many people. They're giving formation. Whether it's in music, whether it's in boxing, whether it's in football. They have trainers that is helping them to become better. Oh, do not fear correction. Correction is good for you. As a child of God, you must say welcome to the correction that is according to the righteousness. Whether it's your wife that is telling you, what is your children that is telling you, what is your husband telling you, if what they are saying is good, take it and, and go for it inside of you. Hallelujah. Oh God shows that Job was a man that was humble. And what happened? You find that God showed us really that when you lower yourself, he will raise you up. And Job lost all that he had. He had his three of his friends that came. Oh, they wept, wept with him. But afterwards, they started criticizing. They accused him falsely. And they said, oh, you made a, a hidden sin. Because those evils can't come upon you like that. He says, no, I have no sin that I made. And finally, God entered into the scene. And he spoke to the friends. And God says, I'm angry against you now for the way that you're talking about my servant. Now you're adding the pain upon him instead of you comforting him. Then you're accusing him of the hidden sin. And he said that he has nothing that is hidden. And he says, I'm not going to hear you. If you want me to deal with you and ask Job to be able to offer a prayer unto you, to be able to offer a sacrifice unto you. And I'm going to hear Job and the man went to go find Job now and say, now please speak to us for, on, on on behalf of Job. And, and Job prayed for them now. And he asked for grace for them. In Job 42. And verse 5 and 8. 7 and 3, 8. And he said, and that's how. God made those three uh, uh, friends grace. And today, you can see that there's a person come here and to be able to take your joy away, to be able to accuse you falsely. Or you are the pastor, and then you make the wife, uh, or you make the husband like this, or you made the children do this. And the person is accusing the child of God without them knowing. That if they would need grace is that servant and that should humble themselves before him and to be able to ask for them to intercede for them if they would listen to the advice of that servant is that's when and God could give him grace and the servant is telling you and do not take a married woman do not take a woman that doesn't have the fear of God but seek for the woman and that you see that it's most spiritual so that it become a wife for you if you are a woman a person that's very spiritual, and you look for one that is very spiritual. You have to say the woman can't even take communion, or they don't even believe in paying tithes, or do not believe in perseverance. It's not a person that she can exhort, a person that doesn't respect orders. And the person goes sometimes into the court and say, This is for the judge to be able to mark. And they respect the parking. And they go into the job and they say, This is the doctors, this is for the nurses. And they respect it. And they say, this is for the handicapped. And they respect it. And they say, this is for the employees of the month. Like they used to do it at the job that I was at. Ah, the person respect it. But they come to church. And the person is directing the parking says, no, take another parking. They say, no, I, I will respect that one. But you have to respect the authorities. They have a reason why they're doing this. And we need to listen to the word of God. 
that asks us for us to humble ourselves and so that he can lift us up. And today, we need a communion. The person is not in communion with God. The person is not even a member of the church. You see that they have songs they're singing. They're inviting people in concerts. Every true believer must have a church and where you are the member of that church and you're baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you support the church by your presence by your tithes and your offering when the person says, oh, they don't believe in paying tithes. Yes, and who's your pastor? Oh no, pastor? oh, no, I don't have a pastor. And you're inviting me in concerts? I don't have time for things like that. And go become a Christian first. And take the ABCs of the gospel before you would give for other people. And you need a discipline. You need a person. And they can confess. And humble themselves. Because there are many people today and that do not have humility. Humility. When, when the person want to get married, yeah. our brother that was preaching that was saying that, he says there is the deer is more vulnerable in the season of mating. And so when they need a husband or a wife, they, they don't think about the hunters. They don't think about the wolves. But they only think about the pleasure. And that's how the hunter could be there. And they don't even care for them. And the hunter just bow and shoots them. Or the wolf comes and takes them. Because they lose all their reasoning. And you should not act as the animals to be able to become unreasonable. And you do not listen to advice because you're in the season of love. And you must put your head upon your shoulders and say, Lord, in all that I'm doing, allow me to be led by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And that, that, that's why it's lion that kills lions. And so you should not fight with one another. It's not the animals that kills lions, but it's lions that kill lions. And today, we we need to stand to be able to take position for the truth because our Redeemer liveth and we as well we must say that we're liberated we're not slaves of Satan anymore we're not dead anymore but we're living with the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah the person is all things of the world and they don't know that and they are not slaves of the false eyes and they have a, a eyelash and ply eyelash of the donkey that they buy big money and they have a, a, a glue for them to put on it and once you see the guy the eye become red now it's become like the, the eyes of the I never see the eyes of the Luga anyways the witch but the eyes of a person, the eyes of the frog, maybe, and the eyes of the red eyes, animals, and now they're sick. Now they have to go see a doctor. And the person give themselves too much problems. If they were in Haiti, and they would never go to do that. And the, uh, the, the person, the bandits would say, oh, this one is really, a uh, person is a mumbo, a witch, a warlock, let's kill them. They're filled with jewelry. The person doesn't want to stay without jewelry. And now there's a situation in Haiti, that people don't even put jewelry. Mm. All the people that were just filled with a lot of jewels and a lot of uh, gold chains and for making people to see things and they don't want to listen to the gospel and now they listen to the bandits. The bandits have to say, ah, oh, once we see them, this is going to ask you for it. And now sometimes I'm just going to kill you for it. And now everybody, everybody just act holy and like as a Christian without earrings, without bracelets, without great big gold chains, Without chain in the feet, without chains in the belly button, everyone kind of dressed holy and to show that they're humble. And you see the thieves make them listen. Amen. Don't let. That is the bandits that make you obey the word of God. Obey because you are a child of God. Oh, my time is gone. Maybe I'll continue the message another time. But I want to say that Job, at a certain time, that after all those things, 
Jesus. That God appeared unto Job. And he's asking, Job, where are you? When I was founding the earth. When I was creating the world. When I was placing the universe into orbit. Oh, all the stars. All the zodiac. Where were you? And Job. He comes to take courage. He says, I know. My Redeemer liveth. And he shall appear upon the earth in the last day. And he said, even if my flesh shall be destroyed, even if my skin shall rot, yet I know in my body, I shall see God in my flesh. Hallelujah. It's not another will see him for me, but I will see him with my own eyes. Hallelujah. And that's why when Jesus died, he descended in 1 Peter 3, in verse 18, and he was go preach to hell. And afterwards, he went into paradise in Luke 24, in verse 34. And I saw one to the thieves that was on his right. And we say to the one to the one on the right. He says, today, you will be with me in paradise. And when Jesus got to paradise, and he found Job, and Job said, this is my redeemer. It is him that we are waiting for. Glory to God. And Daniel said, but this is the little rock. And I saw that was hewn without the hand of any man. Oh, that's the one. And Jacob said, this is the one that struck me with the rod and that had blessed me. Hallelujah. Abraham said, this is the one that revealed the secrets of the heart of Sarah. That's my redeemer. Oh, they all were saying that my redeemer is living and there is an explosion of joy. Hallelujah. The same one say, oh, will be excited because they see that their redeemer is living. And he says, the time for us to go out and the doors open up. And he says, well, I already have the key of death. I have the key of hell. I just took him from the hand of Satan. And Brother Bam says that he sees Jesus that goes into the tomb. And then when he got to hell and he knocks and they say, who? Open up. And Satan thought it was another victim. He says, Satan. He said, advance, come here. Bring the keys. Oh, oh the key I have. And you come in to give it. He said, oh, I'm not speaking to you. Bring the key unto me. And he says he could see Satan. And that was the little, he bring the little, here is the key. Here is the key of death. Here is the key of hell. And he says he could see Jesus. And he advanced from the hand of Satan. He pulled it from his head. It broke. And he took it and put it upon his hip. Hallelujah. And now, he says now he says I am the overcomer hallelujah I am the conqueror hallelujah and I have the key of death and I have the key of hell and if you're walking with me because I live you can live as well hallelujah death has no power over you sin has no power over you because I have triumphed over them all this morning we need the Lord we need to be celebrating the Lord praising the Lord because he is deserving of worth we praise the Lord because all heaven sings his name that he has won the victory over the Castle Calvary. Oh, is our Redeemer living? Do you want to walk with your living Redeemer? If you want to walk with him, let us stand and let us pray the Lord and so that we can dismiss. Holy Father, we praise you this morning for your word that is blessed and that you have revealed unto us. And it says, I know one day that you're coming and to take govern the world with a rod of iron but for the bride she will be upon the throne directing the world with you and as you had said and through the prophets the world the prostrate at the feet of the bride when the world the prostrate at the feet of Jesus you are the almighty and this morning we ask you for forgiveness for our errors and we claim Lord 
the spirit of humility. Allow, Lord, that the old man be destroyed. Because you had said, Lord, the flesh is weak. Even when Satan will be bind, as long as you know, he would have the flesh, there will be weakness. But this morning, Lord, we claim the Holy Spirit to take control of each and every single one of us and that we can say that if I'm living, it's not me living anymore, but it's Christ living in me. Oh, the author of life, we know that you live and that you will never die. Live in us, Lord. Receive each and every single one of us that have raised our hands and that we would walk with you and through the message all the way up until the day of our rapture in the name of Jesus Christ our God and our King him who lives and reigns the praise and majesty from now and forevermore Amen Glory to God was there a person this morning that hadn't taken their baptism and that would like to take their baptism in the name of the Lord they are free to come forward they say if you confess my name before man I will confess your name before my father which is in heaven is there such a person this morning was there a person as well and they had backslidden they had stopped walking with the Lord and they say from now on I want to take my step back with the Lord. You want a more intense relationship with the Lord? If there's such a person, they're free to come forward as well to confess that. You see, I want to take my step. I want to take my place amongst the elect and in the camp of God. If there's such a person, they're free to come forward this morning. Glory to God. If there weren't any, we'll bow our heads. so that we can dismiss my prayer. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for the light of the end time. And help us, Lord, to recognize our identity as members of the bride of Christ and to be able to walk upon the serpents and the scorpions and upon all the powers of the enemy. I put up all the saints, consecrate them into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ, the great resurrected one, to him only the glory and honor, the power and majesty from now and forevermore. Amen. Brother Eli can dismiss quickly for us. We will have a short meeting. Que Dieu vous bénisse richement. Alors avec le monde ou avec tout le monde, pas fin sûr, les anciens vont dire non. Que Dieu vous bénisse richement. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, God sent his son. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. They call him Jesus. He came to heal and forgive. Heal and forgive. He bled and died to far my pardon. To buy my part an empty grave. An empty grave is there to prove my sin. Oh, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. Because he lives. All fear is God. All fear is Because I know, yes, I know, he holds, and life is worth the leaving just one last time. We're con el viva, we're con el Oh, and 
Parce que 